just wanted to do a real quick video on uh, JavaScript. This is an example of a web page I'm building. Um, when you click on these things, the background image changes, and this, th these things are images. And when you click on this thumbnail, this um, causes uh, video to display here in this div, and the background image of this div changes. Same thing here. Um, and it's it's actually an uh, image. It's an image I made of, of a gray color. Uh, I needed the space to stay consistent. I tried to hide the background image, um, but hide the div, but this div, the div that holds this iframe, um, sits inside this div, so it made that hide too, so I didn't do it that way. But anyways, this is just um, a real quick video on how JavaScript, some things I can do with JavaScript, and um, I want to show you the code. Here, um, it, it's um, changing the background image, and uh, it's just a style, and this is the syntax to do that. Um, and probably should delete this. If you click over here, it'll clean up your code for you. Uh, let me just give you all some other things I looked at to figure this out. Okay, this syntax helped me a lot. See right here, document, get element by ID, and then it did style pro property. Uh, this is a CSS property, and then this is the value that you want to go in there. So, like here, this is blue, and I just looked at the uh, syntax and how they did this one. So, they had this ID, and they wanted to change uh, this element by its ID, which is the same setup I have. And then they wanted to change the CSS property color to a CSS value of blue. And... Um, in my case, I wanted to change the background image property, and that's a little bit trickier than just the property color because you have a URL in there. If you look up here, see you've got, when you do CSS for the background image, you've got an image, and then you've got this URL, so it's a little bit trickier. Um, and I kind of needed to find an example of that being done. So I found this. And again, all this is in W3School. Um, somewhere. All of this is in uh, W3School. Right here under HTML, DOM. If you go into the style and you select um, background image it will give you this. Now I didn't like this part of it because I'm not styling the body tag. I am actually uh, selecting an ID, a div, a selector by an ID um, called background div and I'll show you where that is in my code. Right here, see here's my article tag and there's the background div. It's a section tag and so I'm actually not selecting the whole body I'm, or an HTML element. I'm actually selecting an ID, a CSS ID. So um, that's why my format looks a little bit different um, on my syntax. But the rest of it was usable like um, here I could see that they put it uh, in parentheses and then they made the single quotes and those double quotes and I uh, just had to fix this part of the uh, declaration to match better, more like this part. So it worked out really good. Um, W3School is a great resource for me. And so now what happens is once you've changed one, the background image one time, it it changes for it changes permanently. It doesn't uh, go back. So when uh, I only have to do it once, which is fine. Um, if you refresh the page, it'll show the image. And to refresh it, you just do F5. But if you want to refresh it, that's the image.